Highway 24K from GoldStandardVoiceTags.com, and you are now tuned in to Gold Standard TV. Uh, first things first, I'd like to thank everyone who's watching this video, who saw my original video, which was how to make an 808 pre-sonus pre Studio One Mai Tai, um, and came back and watched this video because uh, I haven't made a video in about a tutorial in about uh, two years, and I want to say I apologize, but I also want to say that I will be making a lot more videos for you guys so that we can get creative and have some fun. So we're gonna jump right into it. Today, I want to make what I call a digital symbol or a digital crash. Everybody knows the, the same old 808 crash that everyone uses. And I just wanna make something different that's, that sounds a little bit different, but is just as, you know, just as good. So we're gonna jump right into it. I wanna let you guys hear a little sample of what I mean. I have a little beat here. I'm not really finished with it, but uh, I'm gonna let you guys hear the symbol that, you know, that, that everyone uses. So let's jump into it. Yeah, that symbol. Everyone uses the very same symbol over and over and over and over again. And what we wanna do is we wanna, you know, kinda switch it up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this track. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go ahead and you can, um, in this digital crash that we're about to make, we're gonna make it in Mai Tai. Uh, I, I don't know, Mai Tai is a very powerful tool that a lot of people just don't seem to realize is extremely powerful. So we're gonna open up Mai Tai just by dragging and dropping. We open up a track, I'm gonna call this Digital symbol and uh, we're gonna go ahead and save that uh, if you know me you know I like to get stuff done as quickly as possible with the you know with the, with the most ease as you possibly can get so I'm gonna go right here to a preset uh, my favorite preset my favorite lady Belladonna because she's just kind of like the midway point uh, of creation as it as it comes as it com as it pertains to my time so you have a uh, Belladonna here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. First thing you wanna do is pretty much shut everything off. So oscillator one, oscillator two, uh, character's already off. You wanna shut off LFO one, LFO two, um, and uh, oh, you wanna shut off the, uh, you know, the extra add-ons, the extra, little plugins and things. We're gonna turn all of that off. And we're gonna come back to some of that later. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and turn your noise on. Um, and let's just go ahead and turn the color all the way up and the level all the way up. Uh, and that's pretty much the sound right there. We just have to do a little bit more tweaking and uh, we're gonna get it to sound the way we want it to sound. We're gonna come over here to filter and we are going to go to our high pass filter, which is on your far right. Uh, the other ones are uh, your low pass filters and variations all the way up to your high pass filter. But what we want is the high pass filter. So it lets the highs pass pretty much. Anyway, um, what we also want to do is we want to go ahead and drop the punch down because punch gives a little bit more grit. And right now I'm not looking for the grit. I'm just looking for a, a little bit more of a fuzzy type of like an airy sound. So we're going to pull this punch all the way down and we're going to pull the drive all the way up. Yeah, we're going to go crazy with the drive because uh, that's going to help it have that, you know, that airy sound. Um, and we're almost there pretty much. Let's test it out. Almost, 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 almost. Uh, also, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make this uh, release time a little bit longer. Let's go about five seconds. Ah, see, we're pretty much almost there. The only thing we have to do now is add in, uh, add back in the reverb that we took off at the beginning. And um, yeah, we should be in there. 
Let's see. Let's try this out. I haven't really, I didn't really mess. I don't want to mess with it too much if it's, if it already sounds good. Oh man. Oh, oh got to do that again. Oh, whoo. That sounds beautiful. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and, and, and that's pretty much it. So what you want to do with that is you want to go ahead and save it. You know, go ahead and save it. I think I have mine already stored, but I'll save it again with you guys. We're going to call this digital symbol. Um, and we're going to go ahead and save that. Uh, do I want to put it in something? No, I want to put this in, uh, into a custom. Whoops, look at me. I'm spelling all incorrectly. Custom folder. Boom. And that goes there. Digital symbol goes in the custom folder. And now we can go back over here to the track and we can plug it in. Let's make it happen. What we can also do uh, to, to kind of make the crashes a little bit cleaner is turn this to monophonic so that when the notes hit, they don't run into each other. Similar with the 808. And uh, now we can listen back to it. So let's take a quick listen. That's that right there. 100% certified hood shit. So there it is. Uh, you guys go out there and have some fun. Um, if you need DJ drops, make sure you swing on by the gold standard voice tags.com. You know, that's if you, you know, need them for production. If you, if you're a DJ and you need drops, whatever, swing on by gold standard voice tags.com. If you like this video, go ahead and thumbs up. If you, uh, you know, leave me a comment, if you need to know some other information, whatever the case may be, let's interact, let's talk. But, uh, until next time, peace.